Hello again, everybody. Uh, today is day 22 of Daily December. Um, I've been doing this for over three weeks, which is insane. Um, when I first started this, uh, I had no idea what to expect. It's been really, really cool getting to know you guys uh, and uh, getting to interact with you guys as much as I have has been really, really awesome. And I really think I'm starting to get a better handle on what constitutes something that at least my specific audience wants to see and what's just really, really boring that nobody will ever talk about again. Uh, so I thank you for letting me learn and grow with you guys. Um, on the financial front, I am still at just around $130. Um, I haven't gotten anything uh, since then yet, uh, but I'm still very hopeful. Um, there's still a couple more weeks to uh, to get the uh, 900 to 1,000 that I need to be able to pay my rent and everything like that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome to be perfectly honest. You guys have really, um, really been amazing in the fact that you guys have been, you know, giving me words of encouragement and um, I've gotten, uh, I've gotten messages from a lot of you guys that um, have been telling me, about uh, different places where I can apply for a job and extra tips for being able to make a little bit of extra money. Um, and I know there's um, quite a few uh, few of you guys that are still sharing the video and everything. Um, so that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the only thing I can really ask is keep telling people, keep telling fan, uh, friends, family, whatever. Um, you know, if they want to do something, um, you know, really nice with, you know, any extra money that they have, you know, consider uh, purchasing one of the services that I offer. Uh, you'll get something pretty cool out of it and you will help keep someone in a home, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, today um, I want to talk about something that is very near and dear to my heart. And that is really stupid, ignorant, disgusting Facebook posts. Why, Jody, what are you talking about? Well, I'm glad you asked. See, when people aren't here to talk with me, I just talk to myself and can actually have a lot of fun. Um, I am talking about these posts that I see on Facebook almost every day. Um, there are certain people that I have specifically taken off of my feed where I've said, you know, do not show in my feed, simply because they continue to post this unbelievable idiotic drivel that is completely worthless and what I mean by this are these posts that will have a picture of something and then say watch out for this blah 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 this is a horrible horrible thing and you should boycott it or you know donate you know like this and and this person will donate a million dollars or if we get a million likes then my mommy says we can have a puppy. They're all lies. 100% of them are incredible lies. It's, to me, it's, it's absolutely insane that people will look at this stuff and not take three minutes to go to like Snopes or just an internet search and find out if any of this stuff is actually valid. Uh, the first one that really, really upset me um, has actually been getting a lot of play uh, recently because um, the holiday times are a great time for people to think about donating uh, money and, and things to charity. Uh, it's the end of the year. Everyone's in a giving mood. Um, from a business perspective, a lot of businesses will make charitable donations and things like that uh, towards December, January, because that's the end of the financial year. And if they need tax write-offs to be able to hit certain, certain profit margins, that's a really easy way to do it. And it creates a lot of goodwill. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of reasons to donate uh, around this time. And I saw this post that I was unbelievably insulted by. Um, and it basically said, don't donate to these charities. And it gave these lists. So basically the entire purpose behind not donating to these charities was the fact that the people that run these charities make a fair amount according to this post. Um, a lot of them were making well into the six figure range. Um, one of them uh, apparently was making into the seven figure range. And because of that, that meant 
that you shouldn't donate to these things. And they put a, a couple other things like how none of your donations go towards helping people. It's all just, you know, lining the pockets of the rich. And one of the companies that was mentioned in there uh, was uh, Goodwill. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with what Goodwill is, um, Goodwill is an organization that accepts donation of clothes and uh, literally just about anything you would want to donate to them. You donate to them, um, they have a team of workers that will go through all the donations, find the things that are actually something that people would actually want, and um, will uh, clean them up if they have to, um, uh, put a price tag on them, and then in their retail stores they will sell all of those things. And they use the money from those stores to be able to, you know, first of all, pay their workers. Um, and they also have quite a few other um, programs uh, that they use to help uh, their communities. Everything from adult daycare, um, work uh, outreach programs, um, you know, uh, educational programs to help people, you know, learn a computer, learn how to write a resume. Um, and all these things are done free of charge. According to this message, the CEO, some dude named Mark something, um, made a crap ton of money, you know, in, in, in the mid six figure salary range. And that zero dollars went to helping anybody. Oh, and they also, uh, they claim that they um, support uh, uh, people with disabilities by employing them in their store. And, and that's a bold faced fallacy, you know, because that never happens. And everyone in their store makes minimum wage and it's, it's a horrible thing. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, I worked for Goodwill, uh, Goodwill Industries of Southeastern Wisconsin, um, for about six months. Um, my decision to leave Goodwill uh, was technically not my decision, um, and I'm not going to get into the reason why I no longer work for them. Uh, what I do want to mention is what happened was a misunderstanding between a couple different people, and I don't hold Goodwill as a company responsible for it. I still support them. I still think it's a fantastic company. Um, and that specific post is a bold-faced lie. First of all, the CEO of Goodwill Industries uh, International, which is the overall uh, company, um, is not named Mark. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember the guy's name, uh, but he doesn't make this, this fictional salary that they mentioned. Um, and to be perfectly honest, uh, he runs an international company uh, if they're not paying him a fair amount to do it, that has got to be probably one of the stupidest things in the world. Uh, Goodwill Industries makes about $4.8 billion in profit every year, um, which is insane. That, that's, that's an incredible amount when you think about half of the items in the store cost 25 cents. I mean, that's, that's unbelievable. I worked in the store, uh, I've worked in stores where the average ticket is somewhere between $30 to $50 per ticket. And the stores, uh, you know, the companies that I worked for were, you know, oh, anywhere between, you know, three to $10 billion companies. Um, and, you know, the cheapest products uh, or the products that they sell the most cost 15 to 20 bucks a piece. So the fact that they make 4.8 billion selling things that range anywhere in price from about 25 cents up to about five or six dollars is insane. They're unbelievably amazing at what they do. And somebody running a company that makes $4.8 billion a year has thousands of stores in multiple countries getting paid anything less than six figures is insulting. Whether it is a nonprofit organization or not, people deserve to get paid what they're worth. And someone that can run a company that large deserves to get paid for it. So I, I'm really tired of everybody villa, uh, vilifying people that make a lot of money. They're not bad people. They're smart people that have worked very, very hard to do what they do. Would I like some of their money? Yes. I am flat broke. Uh, I can barely afford food right now. Y'all know I can't ref afford rent and that. I would love one of these people that makes six-figure salaries to just give me three or $4,000 because that's not a whole lot to them. And guess what? I'm not mad of a single one of them because they don't give it to me. Because you know what? They've worked very, very hard for their, uh, for their pay, and they deserve to be able to spend it the way that they want to. I would be insulted if out of my paycheck I was forced to give some of my money to someone uh, else just because I made more money than they did. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to say. The second thing, this idea of goodwill doesn't help anybody. I mentioned a few of the things uh, that they do. This adult daycare, 
basically this is for families that have adults that have severe mental or physical disabilities where they can't be alone they need someone to take care of them but the family itself still has to function they still have to go to work they still have to provide for themselves they still have to have lives really and it's it's not really fair for their entire life to be taking care of um, a member of their family even though a lot of them do and so what this adult daycare is is it's a place where people can bring their family members where they get to interact with other people that aren't related to them they get to have fun they they get to be watched over in a very very safe environment um, and then they get to go home so that the families themselves can go to work um, maybe have a little bit of a personal life um, you know things like that and you know how much these people pay for that nothing not a penny and this is an incredibly difficult thing to do you can't just pick people you know up off the street and have them help run this adult daycare it takes specialized training um, most people that do this have some sort of a degree or some sort of specific training that lets them be able to do this and some of that training actually comes from goodwill which costs them a lot of money to be able to do something like that is very very expensive and they don't ask for a penny for it now the other things that they do they um they have work outreach centers uh in waukesha where i live uh attached to one of their stores is a very large work outreach center uh if you don't know how to write a resume uh if you don't know uh how to interview well if you don't know how to use a computer these are all things that you desperately need to be able to do if you want to get a job in this market you can walk in there any day of the week that it's open and for 100% nothing, you can go in there and use their computers. You can type your resume. You can have someone look over your resume and tell you, hey, listen, if you want to get a job, you need to reformat your resume. It needs to be done this way for free. You can go in there and they will give you free classes on how to use a computer, on how to use Microsoft Word and things like that. These are things that we take for granted because we've been using them for so long. Um, but if you can't, if you don't know how a computer works, um, either because you've never had the ability to use one due to either financial um, difficulties or just it's it's never been something that's been available to you, um, or uh, uh, the elderly uh, where it, it wasn't a job skill that they needed until recently, um, it can be very, very hard to find time. And I, I know how much it costs to learn how to use a computer. I teach classes. Uh, I attempt to teach people myself. Um, I, I haven't charged for that specific service, but I know how much it does cost. I know Microsoft has their own training programs that are exorbitantly expensive. Um, again, Goodwill provides these services for absolutely nothing. And the people that work in these places get paid so that they can support their family while they're helping other people. All of this costs tons of money. And all the money to support these things comes from the Goodwill retail, uh, the Goodwill retail stores. Eighty-two cents out of every dollar donated to Goodwill goes to fund funding these programs. And then the other thing that was unbelievably insulting to me was the fact that Goodwill um, pays all of their employees next to nothing, and they don't uh, employ uh, people with disabilities. Another bold-faced lie. Um, Goodwill was the best-paying job I have ever had. I took a significant pay cut to go back to working uh, in the other retail outlets that I've worked in. Um, they don't pay anyone minimum wage. Starting wage um, is significantly higher than minimum wage. And I can't go into specific details because that's just, it's a bad idea for business in general. Um, but yes, they, they pay everyone very, very well. There's regular raises. Um, they also have one of the best training programs I have ever been a part of the training that I do um, in both my professional and personal life a lot of the skills that I learned to be as valuable a trainer as I am I learned from Goodwill because they're fantastic at it and um, I know every store uh, in Goodwill has um, people that have what are called barriers to employment, things that make other employers think twice about hiring them, whether that's a mental or physical disability, uh, whether that's something in uh, their past that just makes people 
uh, think twice about them. Goodwill is about helping people to be able to support themselves, not giving them handouts, not giving them stuff so that they feel better. We want um, Goodwill wants people to be able to work and support themselves because that builds pride and that builds stability. Um, Goodwill has a number of uh, pretty significant contracts, one of which is with the uh, United States Navy. Um, in, uh, I believe it's in North Wisconsin, there's a, a naval base, uh, Great Lakes uh, Naval Base. Um, it is staffed by Goodwill. Goodwill provides the staff, and if I remember correctly, my numbers may be off. It's been a while since I've been able to look up this specific fact. Um, out of the 1,000 people that work in that base, 750 of them have some sort of barrier to employment. 750 out of 1,000, that is 75% of these people would not have jobs other places because of these barriers. So the idea that Goodwill doesn't employ uh, people with disabilities is insulting. Do they always have them on the sales floor? No. There are some of the disabilities that makes it very difficult for people to work um, in a chaotic environment like a retail sales floor is. Uh, they, um, I worked with quite a few amazing, wonderful people that had barriers to employment. They were fantastic. They were some of the best workers that I've ever worked with. And they have a ton of other places where they don't really have interaction with uh, with the public where they have people with, with barriers to employment uh, employed and they make more than minimum wage uh, depending on what they can and can't do. Um, and every one of them is 100% happy with their job. I don't think I, uh, it was one of the other things that, I, that was most amazing about working for Goodwill was the fact that everybody that works for Goodwill loves doing it. Retail is not an enjoyable profession. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much you make. Retail is not an enjoyable profession. You get yelled at by people. Um, you get demeaned on a regular basis. Um, I would probably say anywhere from 50 to 75% of people that work in retail are vastly underpaid uh, for the amount of work that they do. And they're just expected to deal with it. And there's a huge disconnect between the corporate offices and the actual retail stores. And I mean, it's, it's, it's a very, very stressful environment. And yet Goodwill, which is retail outlets, everybody loves their job. They do. I, I, I think I had maybe two or three complaints uh, from associates who are like, man, I hate my job or something like that. And it was very simple to deal with those complaints because all I had to do was look at them, giggle a little bit and go, really? Do you realize where I came from? This is what I used to have to do every single day. Uh, it was this, 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 this. I got paid half there what I make here. Um, I got paid less than you do right now to do significantly more than you do in this building. Um, and my bosses, while a lot of them were fantastic, um, didn't have to be. I, I, I've had bosses that were horrible, that treated me horrendously, uh, that forced me to have panic attacks and uh, uh, aggravated my depression to a point where uh, it became dangerous to my health to, uh, to work there. Um, and that simply doesn't happen at Goodwill. So yeah, I realize I'm going on this little tirade about Goodwill. And, and the reason behind that is because I worked there, I know all of this stuff. And for those of you that are wondering, this is public information. You can walk into any Goodwill in the country Ask to speak to a manager and have the manager tell you what good Goodwill does. And if they've been there for longer than about three to six months, uh, they'll be able to give you the same information that I did plus more. Uh, because it's one of the things that they train their managers to do is to know why it's important to work for Goodwill. And you can probably ask half of the associates there too, and they will give you most of this information because they're so proud and they're so happy to be able to work for a company that cares so much about helping people provide for themselves. And the fact that there are people on the internet that will spew forth lies and filth discrediting organizations just because they feel that they want to inform the public of how horrible these people are 
is mind-boggling. Why in the world would you try and discredit these organizations that are making such an amazing impact on the world? It's, it's insulting. It's, it's incredible that stuff like this would happen, and yet it happens every single day. And there are people I know who refuse to shop at Goodwill, who refuse to donate to the Salvation Army, who refuse to... Um, help out charitable organizations because quote unquote they are horrible organizations um, now I do believe in research before you donate look into the companies that you're don donating to and find out exactly what they do with your money some of them do spend a lot of their uh, donations on administrative costs and you know paying people that don't really deserve to be paid as much as they do um, but that is the exception to the rule rather than the, uh, the rule. You know, companies that do this, that treat people like that, that, that misrepresent themselves, they don't last very long because the Internet is real. The, the Internet is there and information is much more difficult to keep secret now. So these companies, people find out about them very quickly um, and it's never through Facebook. I don't think I've seen a single thing on Facebook where they've said, oh, this company, blah, 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 and I've done five minutes of research and I haven't found out that it's a complete un and total fallacy. I have never had my eyes opened by one of those stupid Facebook posts, ever. So if you really want to help somebody out, you really want to donate and do something good for somebody, take half an hour of your life, of your very, very expensive, important time, Look into a couple of charities that have places that you can donate near you and find out what they do. And if you really want to know what's actually happening, go to these charities and talk to someone there. Okay? If they really are lying, most people can tell that. When you're getting, when you're getting fed a load of shit, you know it for the most part. And if you just get a bad feeling about a conversation that you've had with someone at a charity, just write them off. Do not tell all of your friends, these people are horrible because I got a bad feeling. Do some research, look into it, and find someone you can help. But let's stop trying to discredit all of these people because you don't particularly agree with either how they spend their money or uh, that you have this misconception that they're this evil, hate-mongering organization. 90% of them aren't. 90% of them are trying to do wonderful, amazing things that are succeeding every single day. And yet you still have people out there that are trying to discredit them and make their jobs that much more difficult. Um, I know I said that I was going to be a little bit more uh, happy and excited about stuff like this. Uh, but this is something that uh, I've been seeing a lot of and I, and I really felt that I needed to say something about it. Um, so yeah, um, today, uh, I would really like to hear your guys' opinion on this. Um, I've seen Twitter posts from some of my followers uh, that have mentioned specifically that uh, they uh, either they agree or they don't agree with uh, uh, certain charitable organizations uh, because of their stance on everything from gay rights all the way down to um, how they use their money. Um, if you do have an issue with a specific charity, what I'd really like you guys to do is actually do some research, not these little Facebook posts, not little Reddit comments, actually go to the companies themselves, go to their websites, check out their uh, i9s and things like that, that they're required by law to make public, find out what actually happens, and then tell me a charity that you support. Not a charity that you think is horrible, that you think no one should ever support because they're, uh, uh, you know, insulting people that hate everybody. Find a charity that you support, that you think is doing something good, and mention it in the comments below. Um, anyone that uh, puts an actual charity down there that I can find, I will put a link to it in the description so that anyone can come to this video and see all the different charities that my viewers support. And I'm going to put a couple links of my own in there um, for charities that, are th uh, that I think are um, doing some amazing things with people. All right, that's all for me today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.